Hey, good morning. Hey, if you're a coffee lover and you love fresh coffee and you don't want to go out and buy a cup of coffee, I mean, it adds up, especially today. Um, we all have coffee machines at home, Mr. Coffee and so forth, the Keurigs and so forth, which I'll use at work, but there's nothing better than a good quality coffee machine. And if you make a lot of coffee um, every single day or you have a, a big family and everybody's on the go, you may consider getting a bun commercial coffee machine. Um, I got a great deal on Amazon this season, and um, I highly suggest looking through. Now, Bun also makes a homebrew, which is a smaller version of their commercial. Um, it's a homebrew unit. I've had them. They're really good, but they only last about five years if you make a lot of coffee like I do. Uh, but anyway, I got a VPR 17 commercial bun coffee machine um, they're on the expensive side and there's a few um, caveats a little few issues I want to bring up with you if you're considering buying one of these that they may not tell you when you buy them so let's go and I'll give you a quick review a couple of things to look out for that you might want to do if you do purchase these and why they make such great coffee so whether you're having a little party, a traditional coffee party with some Buffalo China, or expecting or needing that wake up giant cup of coffee, which is, is like a 20 ouncer, or you're on the go with a tumbler, consider getting a Bun Commercial Coffee Brewer. Okay, so here we are. Uh, if you, I'm sure everybody has seen these. These are generally what you'll see in the a restaurant or even the coffee place. Um, you know, as uh, over the years, I've I've seen Bond machines at Dunkin' Donuts and so forth, and they upgraded to the really larger Bond machines. But they essentially are the same. And what they have in the back here is a an enclosed. Everything is stainless steel. Is an enclosed hot water tank that constantly keeps the water at over at 180 degrees which is the optimal temperature for coffee now these use standard plugs and contrary to a lot of people's beliefs or myths they're they're, they're not necessarily a myth but they're two versions there are um, the versions that a plumber needs to connect the tank to a water line there are two versions and this is the VP series, the VP17, which is a pour over. Pour over means you don't need to hook up. You don't need to get a plumber, nothing fancy. It comes with this cup uh, measure. I, I actually pre-measure out depending on how many cups I wanna make. I'm gonna get to that uh, later. Um, but you pour your water directly over into this and what this does is it displaces the water in the back. Just quickly, a quick review on these. These make excellent coffee because they brew. There's a number of reasons. They keep the water at 180 degrees. You want really hot water. I call it lawsuit hot, but 180 degrees makes the best coffee. Also, there's two versions and I'm going to get to that in a minute, but you can see that pattern, that star pattern. Well, regular drip coffee makers have a single stream of water that just pours down in the center, and you're not going to get the turbulence, um, which gives you full flavor of your coffee. All your grounds are getting saturated with this, and how what that's caused by is, and these are... Um, what makes the buns also make great coffee is this star shower head. And this is a stainless steel shower head. And it showers the coffee grounds with water, which creates the turbulence, which gets all of the coffee grounds soaked, and you get plenty of flavorful coffee. Now you're probably wondering why there are two baskets here. When you order these machines, and this is a single heater. There are numerous different models. Some have one, some have two. 
they'll have another one on top. Some of them have three or four, depending on, you know, obviously I don't need four, it's just uh, my wife and myself. Um, so I, I got this model with the single heating element. But you're wondering why I have the two baskets. Well, if you order it just stock plain like this, it comes with this plastic, which is essentially the same type of, uh, it's a basket, same basket, but it's plastic. It goes in here. Of course, they give you some uh, filters, but it goes in here. But some people don't want plastic. I don't. I don't really want plastic, the hot water, and over time, you're cleaning it and so forth. You don't want to... You don't want plastic. You're trying to get away from plastic. So they offer this stainless steel optional grind basket, which is great. It just, it's rugged. You can wash it in a dishwasher or wash it by hand. It's durable. You don't have to worry about your hot water, anything touching plastic. It, it, it really is a good option. These are a little pricey. Obviously, you, you're talking commercial quality stuff here, so they're a little pricey. This is about $70 upgrade. However, this is something that they don't tell you, and I don't know why they do this. Well, I know why. They probably just want to make money. I just don't understand why. But if you buy this option and run the machine, your coffee is going to come out very weak. And that's because... You have to purchase that little screw-on tip, which is another ten dollars, which is ridiculous. It really is. Uh, but what's ridiculous? Me buying it or whatever. But you know what? I want the good coffee, and um, but that's a little stainless steel screw-on tip. And what that does is it it creates a smaller drain hole, so the the coffee backs up a little more here and gives you really good tasting coffee. Better tasting coffee than this. People complain that if you use this without this tip, <clears throat> the coffee runs through too fast and you don't get really flavorful, full flavorful, weak. You, you, you'll you get, you know, weak coffee. So it's ridiculous. I think it's just, it's greedy, but what am I going to do? Fight City Hall. Uh, make sure you get genuine bun parts. There are some knockoffs. Make sure, and you can tell by this label. And they, if you read the, uh, when you purchase these, or if you're searching online, this sticker should be like this. Knockoffs may be different, or will be different. It may not say warning. It may say hot coffee, or something like that. This is how you can tell it's a bun. It should be marked bun, but there's so much fraud out there. Same with these plastic ones. These are the bun stickers. Um, just so you know, because there's so many knockoffs and so much fraud going out there, but they make really good coffee. Um, again, if you love your coffee like I do, and you don't have the time to sit and wait, these make, a, this is a 12 cup. It makes 12 cups in like three or four minutes, boom, and the, the coffee comes out really good. Um, this is really a preference. Everybody has their tough, your their favorite coffees. These are absolutely my favorite. The eight o'clock bean, the Colombian, or the ground. And yes, McDonald's, they actually sell their own coffee. And I love Colombian, and I've tried them all. And these are really my two favorites, plus Gavalia. I love Gavalia ground Colombian coffee. Now that's the next thing we get into is the proper grind. Just a side note, and you don't have to do this. I do it because I'm I'm a fanatic. But if you take your hot coffee and you pour it into a cold cup, what are you doing? You're lowering the temperature of your coffee and it's going to affect the flavor. So what I do is while I'm making my coffee, I put hot water just from the tap, steaming hot water in my cup and let it sit. And then right before I pour my coffee, I empty it out and I pour my hot coffee into my hot mug. So yeah, it's a little bit fanatic. It goes over the top. Let's put it back. Make sure you put your coffee back on the warmer. 
it makes the coffee it keeps the coffee nice and hot you're not putting a hot you're not putting hot coffee into a cold mug especially in the winter time it's like nine degrees out everything even with the heat on everything is gets cold in these cabinets so preheat your cup unless you're really in a hurry but I do that the same thing with my tumblers and my other cups just a side note quality control okay um, very important if you're I like buying the beans also uh, but you've got to be a little careful and you don't want to overly grind the beans um, so you can buy your coffee pre-ground uh, this is just a medium regular ground um, if you go to coffee shops just tell them you're using a commercial bun machine I mean you don't want it you don't want it super super coarse you don't want coarse grounds because then it's going to really run through fast you don't want super fine because then machine is going to back up because you're going to have all that coffee floating around so you want a good medium fine ground coffee i found the regular ground out of the bag is good for this machine you have a coffee bean grinder you could take your ground coffee and put it in there and give it another shot that'll give you a little more flavorful coffee um but that's just so you know with these machines you want to make sure that the, your ground coffee is not too coarse because it, it obviously the water is going to go through it. Obviously, the with the coarser ground, the water is going to drain much quicker than the fine stuff. So just a note on that. Also, um, in general, because of the size of the basket, the larger basket, I'm going to just use this one here but as an example. but. Because of the larger basket, because these are a larger machine, I generally, I don't make four cups of coffee with this. Because it general, it'll come out weak because it's, you have such, so few grounds, you only have four cups of grounds in a big basket, that even if it's fine, the coffee's gonna taste a little weak. So I, I usually make a pot, uh, like 10, I rarely make 12 cups, but I usually make 10 cups and 10 cups it, it, in today's cups is really not 10 cups. So I didn't say, hey, I drank 10 cups of coffee um, because these mugs today are huge. But I generally make 10 cups, 8 to 10, um, and I use heaping um, tablespoons. Okay, so it's important that when you're making, this is, I have this here. These are um, the tablespoons. So this is one tablespoon. I make a heaping, so I use eight to 10 heaping, and that's a good grain. And you can, um, and yes, I can even put this in that grinder a little, little bit if I want it stronger. If you like it more flavorful, you can grind that. And that depends on how much time I have. Um, if I'm really, if I, ha I have plenty of time, I can I grind this up a little, little bit, but most of the time I don't. Comes out good, but I suggest with these larger machines, you wanna make sure you make a good pot, at least 10 cups, eight to 10. Uh, again, if you're gonna make six, then I would put six or, I would put like eight tablespoons of coffee in there to make sure you're getting full flavor, so. Okay, so um, again, this these list from between uh, you can get them for around $325. I think this was on sale for $318. And I got a special with Amazon. If I open up one of their cards, I get $125 off, which was spectacular. I, I, it, it made me say, yep, I'm going to get the machine. As long as you pay that hundred, you know, the pay the, the bill off the next cycle, you don't want to carry that over. And the interest is going to eat away that $125. But it was well worth it for me. It, it, I've been meaning to get one of these, so I took advantage of that. Um, but these are good. They're well made. All stainless steel. I just have to get a, a nice little coffee station for it. Uh, you have to buy the carafe. They do have packages if you go to Amazon or Bun. The Bun store has they have their own listing on Amazon, so it's the Bun store. They have this model that comes complete with decanters. It's an extra $25, or you can just buy your decanters if you have your decanters, or if you have a decanter from another coffee machine, 
uh, you can use that as long as it fits on the burner and has the opening that's in the center you can use anything but I like the I like the whole package if I'm gonna spend this kind of money I might as well get everything uh, complete uh, well made you'll hear it kick in you'll hear the um, you'll hear the heater element kick on so make sure you have a good electrical system in your house it, it's not 220 it's not overly I mean it I don't think it draws that much amperage uh, but you will hear it you'll hear the heater come on almost like a um, you know you'll hear it start to run you'll hear a, a whooshing noise um, almost like a fan and that'll kick on and that's just the tank keeping the water at 180 degrees uh, other than that it'll be silent and ready to go another thing very important when you open this up there's your tank where you put your water make sure you have your pot here some older models of these or the even the homebrew once you open this up it has a little lever here that blocks the water displacement so if I pour water in here it won't drain out until I close this not the case with these make sure you have your pot on the burner because once you start pouring water in here it's going to drain right through and it's going to start going it's going to start to drip it's going to actually start to run through so you need to have a pot on the bottom just a little caveat i found with these that's changed over the years because i've used these machines at work over the course of 20 30 years and they are essentially the same they look the same um but they you know they changed that i noticed they changed that um or possibly not i was used to that on my home brew it had a little lever here that it was like a uh, it was just a little lever governor that closed off the displacement so once you poured the water in here then close it it would displace the water in the tank the hot water would come through here so it's a minor thing it's not a big deal just wanted to throw that out there but very well made stainless steel you get what you pay for if you really love your coffee i highly recommend these make sure you get bun filters that's another thing you can get it on amazon or the bun store if you have a restaurant supply if you use regular like Mr. Coffee or no name filters, they're not gonna be as high and it's gonna overflow underneath and you're gonna get coffee grounds in your coffee. So make sure you get bun quality parts, um, the filters and so forth so you so you make sure your machine doesn't overflow. So all right, clean up pretty easy. That's another reason why I like the stainless steel. It cleans up real easy. Filter comes right out. And again, there's what I mean, that little screw piece that they rip you off for the extra $10. The screws in, it just makes the drain hole smaller. But it's such a, a minute amount. I don't understand why they do that. But there's the basket. This is all stainless. This does not pop out. It just creates that space so the coffee can actually move around. Got a splash guard here. Just rinse it. You could put these in the, in the dishwasher. I don't because honestly, the dishwasher is kind of caustic. And uh, I rinse this good, really good. If I really feel the need, it needs to be cleaned uh, thoroughly. If there's any kind of coffee buildup, I use white vinegar. Again, make sure you get, if you're going to spring for these, I highly recommend, aside from that, which kind of really gets on, the, it gets my goat, but uh, I recommend getting the stainless steel. If you're going to spend this kind of money, um, I argue that they should just offer it, but that's, uh, that's the way it goes. But why not? All stainless steel, you don't have any plastic. All right, everybody, so I hope that re this review of the Bun VP17 pour-over coffee machine was helpful, kind of gave you a, 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 an idea on whether or not this is right for you. Um, again, I had this homebrew at my house before. I've had it for years. I actually went through three of them over the course of 20 years because they, I used, again, I used the coffee machine a lot. That's why I kind of said, finally, let me get the commercial. We'll see that, how that goes makes great coffee but if you are going to go for the veep the um the small homebrew i recommend that you won't be disappointed 
It's just uh, it's, it's just a smaller version, but essentially does the same thing. So you ask, you know, why did I do this? Why did I waste the money? But uh, I just I wanted this beautiful machine. I wanted this coffee machine. I figured let me give it a try. Have one at home, and uh, we'll see what happens. So any questions or comments? You have any other further questions about these machines? Uh, just post a comment and I'll get back to you on it. Hope you enjoyed this video, this review on the Bun VP17 pour over commercial coffee machine.